Hey guys, I just wanted to really quickly come on here to talk about what I'm currently reading and hope to read this coming week. Uh, what I'm currently reading right now is The Vegetarian by Han Kang. Uh, this was a book that I hauled in New York a few months ago and I've been really interested in picking it up since um, it's been talked about a lot. Um, it won The Man Booker and all this stuff so I was really interested in picking it up. However, I'm finding it very underwhelming. Uh, the characters are very intriguing. The plot uh, seems to be disturbing and, you know, kind of weird. And so that's interesting, but I don't find myself uh, wanting to pick it up. And I think it's because it's written in such a way that it's deliberately making me uncomfortable. There's a lot of tension. Um, there's a huge disconnect in this marriage. And of course, there's this whole weird dream that's inspiring uh, one of the main characters to give up meat. I've only read maybe 50 something pages of it, so I'm not that far into it. I'm gonna keep reading it because it's not like it's badly written. It's just not a book that I'm, you know, absolutely loving and I just can't wait to get back to. Um, but I, I'm wondering if that's on purpose, if that's kind of the magic of this book is that it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. It's supposed to weird you out. Um, I don't know. I might be wrong about that, but I'm going to keep reading and see what I think of it when I'm done. And then for Read Soul Lit, I'm reading Someone Knows My Name by Lawrence Hill. And this book, um, I've actually wanted to read this book for a really long time. I've had it on my TBR. It was recommended on Goodreads and it got a lot of good ratings and um, some good reviews. Um, and then Lisa from Liking Books here on booktube read it and was going to give it away or unhaul it and then she knew that I wanted to read it so she was so kind as to send it to me. So thank you so much Lisa. I'll have her channel linked down below if you want to check her out. Um, I'm only about 100 pages into this. Um, this is the story of an African young girl who uh, gets sold into slavery and kind of you know what happens after that. I don't really want to read about the plot really. I want to kind of have it unfold. Her voice is very distinct and I really am liking that. Um, I didn't want to buy any more books. I'm trying not to buy any more books and this is the only book I have on my shelf that I haven't read that's written by a black author. So I thought I'd give this one a try and see what I think of it. So those are the two books that I'm currently reading. And then for next week I have two books here um, so that I can give myself a choice because I don't want to say I'm in a reading slump because I want to read. It's just everything that I'm picking up, I just don't, it's not captivating me. It's not grabbing me. And so it's making me really frustrated. So I have these two books here that I have really high hopes for because I've wanted to read them both um, for a really long time. And I've been saving them, you know, for later, I guess, because I know that once I read them, I'm going to be kind of sad that I can't read them anymore, if that makes any sense. But um, the first one is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I've heard so much about this book and about this author and I've heard only great things really about him. So I've always wanted to read a book by him and this is one of the more popular ones. Um, I already kind of like skimmed through it and I saw that there's no quotations and um, it looks like it's going to be a very atmospheric type of read so I'm really excited about it. So that's one of the ones that I hope to pick up next week. And if that doesn't work, then I have this other one that I've been saving is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. I am a huge fan of Rebecca, so I've been wanting to read more by her. And this is one that I saw at a used bookstore, immediately grabbed it, and I've been kind of saving it because I, I have a feeling that I'm going to love it. So I have this one as well. I really want to pick this one up, but I, I'm going to give The Road a chance first. It's really weird, I know, but that's kind of how I feel right now. I, I have such few books on my shelves that I'm dying to read, and this is one of them. So those are the books that I'm reading and hoping to read next week. I am going to be having an announcement video coming up soon on a read-along that I want to do for the month of March that I'm really excited about, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.